try and shoot they don't trade on us the freedom rifle by zana the most affordable military grade ar-15 in the m4 configuration chamber in the 223 wild that you can shoot 556 nato and also 223 four minutes of angle and that's amazing without benches so we had a great time at the range and uh, we also we talk a little bit about what's going on with the latest documentary so don't go away you're listening to love guns and freedom we look at zana don't tread on us do you want social justice? Now I give you social justice. The Zana way. Don't trade on us. The Freedom Rifle by Zana. The most affordable military grade semi-automatic AR-15 rifle in M4 configuration. Chambered in 223 Wild. They can shoot both 556 NATO and 223 Remington. Four minutes of angle for just four hundred ninety nine dollars made in the usa get your freedom rifle now we need every law-abiding american armed with knowledge and at least one military rifle ready to defend good against evil with every don't trade on us rifle you will get free parchment replica of the united states constitution free digital cd don't trade on us free ebook how to become a rifleman free t-shirt slaves are never armed i am not a slave free 30 rounds magazine were allowed by the law free laser engraved ejection port don't trade on us for just 499 dollars go to www.freedomrifle.com www.freedomrifle.com get your freedom rifle now okay guys guess where i am i'm in my kitchen today guess what yes we are broadcasting from the kitchen and you're listening to love guns and freedom with luca zanna and uh, i am preparing one espresso here we go can you hear some noise and uh, i am not by myself today i am with a friend came all the way from phoenix and guess what his name is paul paul Wiedenberger. and uh, you know paul you know i already had him on my show few times and is a movie producer documentary producer director what in the world they're spraying i'm sure you heard about that documentary honestly one of my favorite about uh, weather modification chemtrails and today he also he came here to support me to support not me but uh, what i'm trying to do is not about me it's about so the radio show and the activism we're trying to do not only is uh, helping me out to distribute the coffee the zana coffee but today he wanted to try it out the don't trade on us rifle so we went to the range and we had a great time and guess what he also bought a beautiful don't trade on us rifle for himself and we're going to talk right now together meanwhile i'm cranking my little espresso too this is like a different type of radio show we don't just shoot from uh, the studio but in real life here we go mm, that's the machine my little espresso machine here we go ah and uh, paul right now it's here we are in the kitchen how are you doing paul very good very good luca thanks for having me on your show oh thank you for coming here uh, from phoenix and thank you for everything you do so first of all how was your day did you enjoy the day oh it was really nice i'm glad i came all the way here to to pick up that rifle and that when we went out there shooting today i was it was it was really great to shoot that new rifle yeah you know i'm very excited because i tell you i want to thank you because uh, you've been in arizona already for a while I know that you have uh, different other weapons, but that was, correct me if I'm wrong, I want to just be sure I got it down right, your first rifle, correct? Yep, that's my first rifle. So this is, for me, it's an honor, because I tell you, you could have chose many rifles out there. I'm just, you know, I'm not even a gun manufacturer. I just had an idea. I wanted to put out an affordable quality rifle for every American. But after all, regardless of the incredible price, you know, just $499, what do you think about the quality? I, I, honestly, I was blown away by the quality, and not only is it affordable, but it shoots. It 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 doesn't have a lot of kick. It just it per, it's a great aim. It's a good rifle, and I'm I'm really glad that you I know. Got one. And I tell you something, not because I, I put it together. I'm still very much in uh, excited, and every time I shoot, I find the excitement, especially when I verify the accuracy of the rifle. You know, I, we get the rifle we saw was completely not zero. We didn't have much time. We just messed around for 10 minutes, and we got a group who was less than one square an inch, uh, 25 yards with iron sight. So that was pretty neat. It wasn't a fake. You were a witness, and I had other friends. Yep, I, I'm here to prove that it's true. <laughs> and, you know, 
and I'm not even incredible. I'm just uh, above the average, you know, qualify as a rifle, but I still I don't shoot every day like I wish. So everybody can do that. Now, first of all, what's going on in your business life, your activist life, or any project you're working on? I know you're working on a new documentary out there. What is? Yeah, well, like mo a lot of people know, is I just got done uh, releasing a new documentary called Fluoride Poison on Tap, and that that movie really just exposes the danger of fluoride in the water. And so my new project I'm working on right now that I'm in production on is Babylon USA. So that will be coming out here probably in August. And uh, give us the short story. What, 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 first of all, where did you get this name from? Maybe from the Bible. I know there was a part of the Bible. I'm not a super expert. I heard it was a, a Babylon, you know, the new Babylon. What, what is exactly is the topic? What do you talk about? Well, the, the film is basically a, a film about Bible prophecy, but it also discusses, you know, the New World Order and how that this, that basically the United States is uh, basically a, a Roman Empire or all a Babylonian Empire. It's kind of turned into that. And okay. so. Any special guest? I'm, I know that you went traveling around the, the states. What did you? What did you get? We've interviewed about 14 different people, uh, a handful of historians from around the country, um, different pastors and experts. And honestly, it's just it's going to be a great film. I'm really proud to, proud of it so so far, and I think it's going to be the best film I've ever produced. Wow, very good, very good. I'm always excited because I tell you, it's like, uh, it's a journey, you know, it's a, um, not just for you that you produce this, but also for us, for me as a viewer, uh, you always learn something new. And I tell you what I like most of the DVD form, I can share to other people because the goal is not just for us to learn. We want to learn and share. That's the only way we can reach critical mass and wake up the rest of the humanity and trying to work together. But after all, what do you think really it's uh, the final end game for these, uh, not just the prophecy that we know are technically read in the Bible, but what do you really think also in the political arena and also in our real life arena? What exactly are we facing as humanity? What is the final end game? Well, I think, honestly, I believe what the Bible says in the final end game is world government. And I think that, you know, it, it's in the embryonic stages right now, but we can all see it being implemented. And I believe it will be implemented. And uh, maybe not in our lifetime if we push back, but I think, you know, eventually it will be because the Bible does prophesy that. And I want to say something to the Christians that sometimes they surrender just because they say it's in the in the Scripture. I, you know, maybe I'm not be a perfect Christian. But I look at this, I believe, even not being an expert, Christ, even we know that we had to endure this suffering and pain, it's our duty as people and Christians, if you're a Christian, to also always uh, expose evil, regardless the odds of what's happening in this dimension, regardless that we know that uh, there is a moment that this world government will happen, and many of us, maybe we may not even be making it true. I think it's still our duty to expose it and uh, fight it, and try never to surrender to evil. Don't you think that's the attitude? Or maybe we should just surrender because after all, it's in the scripture. We got to just let it go. What do you think? No, I mean, I think we do need to fight back because honestly, every generation thinks that they're going to be the last generation, you know, or they're going to be living in the end times. Like my dad used to say, he thought, you know, the end times would happen in his lifetime. And so did his father, you know, so... So we need to keep fighting back because we don't know when the end's going to be or you know when these things will come to pass. So we need to fight back because you know that's what we should be doing. And also, I think it's a test. You know, regardless, uh, this is just a limited time we're going to be here on this yeah. planet. Okay, it's not like we are forever. Sometimes I look at this like almost like a test. And one day we're going to be asked, "What did you do when you have a chance to stand for good?" When did you, even people say, I didn't do anything. And that's not good enough. You know, I think uh, the people, regardless, silent is consent. So they need to start to speak up now because I believe regardless what's going to happen in the next 50, 60, 80 years of this, our physical life, one day we'll be judged for eternity if we didn't do the right thing, I guess, when we had a chance like now. So this is just... Well, I mean, the Bible says life is but a vapor. It peereth for a little time and then vanisheth away. And it's so true because we only are on this earth for a short period of time and what are we going to do what waste it watching television or are we going to actually do something that matters just sometimes people i hate when they say hey nothing i can do after all that's the plan that things gonna go it's almost the easy way out the lazy way out or the coward way out sorry i don't want to judge me but i really believe that when people say i don't want anything anything because it's already been written and 
I just want to sit here. I'll be safe. You know, I don't like that. I think we got to still fight always to expose evil and fight evil. Now, thinking about uh, other projects, you got so many great ideas I like because you got a good spirit of a free market. You know, uh, differently when uh, we work for, I don't want to use always the government as an example, but it's true. You know, the government doesn't use freedom. It always coerces you to do things. Here, you do put a product out, like uh, you work very hard. You put one of your documentaries out and... Uh, after all, you don't force anybody to buy it. They yeah. buy it because they like it or they find good information. And then, you know, you're able to be successful and do other documentaries. So it's a great spirit also of uh, exactly what America thinks is supposed to be or should be, the free market idea. Now, you do more than just uh, documentaries. You also have a beautiful website that is a uh, shopping experience. You can buy incredible different things. I saw that uh, from uh, Roman coins, the latest one, I really like it a lot. I need yeah. to probably buy one at least. And then you have uh, incredible rare pages from the Bible. Uh, tell us a little bit about your main website where people can go and find what you produce or what you sell. Well, the name of my store is framingtheworld.com. And basically, you know, I sell stuff that I believe in. So I obviously sell my movies because I believe in those and I make them. But I also sell other products like, you know, like this new coffee that you came out with, Zana Coffee, because it's great coffee. Honestly, it's like one of the best coffees that I've ever tasted. And when you said, hey, Paul, I got this new coffee that I'm selling, I was a little skeptical. But once I tried it, I mean, and... And I'm kind of a coffee snob because I love coffee. I drink it every day. And this is just amazing coffee. My favorite is the Straight Shot Organic Espresso, but the, the 1776 is just right below it. It's, it. They're both great coffees. And honestly, I highly recommend both. And I would like to invite people, you know, that's the idea. We, we help each other. We support each other. You know, I want to have uh, people like you that you help me out. I want my customers, more important, my listeners to go to your website so they can support not just my coffee, but also they support your activism. They can support you making movies, taking care of also of your family. Say again, one more time, the website uh, and also you have any special deal on this coffee going on. Yeah, so the website is framingtheworld.com, and right now I, I we do have a special where if you buy each of the bags, it's, uh, I forget, but you get it for a cheaper price than just buying it one. The more you buy, obviously, the cheaper it gets because, cause, yeah. Yeah, and also we're working on a new, you know, we try to in improve, you know, try to get bigger quantities so I can save on shipping and pass the ship the, the saving on, on you also. So it's going to be incredible new price coming probably in the next two weeks. So check them out. It's going to be incredible price. Price that maybe you can buy a bag of coffee and buy also one of the new or the latest uh, DVDs that he has out there. Now, listen to me. Um, I want to say thank you very much for all you do. Thank you for coming up to here today. And I want to give you the floor. Uh, anything you want to say about to about anybody or about anything you're doing, I give you two minutes. Well, I just want to thank you, Luca, for having me on, and, and just really, honestly, people just need to to wake up to what's going on in the world today and just realize that that they need to do something. You know, it, it, they need to share what they know with others. They need to stand up for what's right because. You know, the next electing the next idiot to to president is not going to fix things. They need to start at the local level and and try to make a difference, whether it's through politics or through um, just through their you know their beliefs and religion. But uh, yeah, I just I, I encourage everyone to go to framingtheworld.com and check out uh, what what we're doing. I always have new products up on the store and, uh, you know, check out the new Freedom Rifle, which I think is, when I shot today, I was really blown away by it. So go to FreedomRifle.com and you can check that out and hopefully I'll be selling on my FrameTheWorld.com. Hey, yes. you. Yes, I'm talking to you. You deserve a break. Enjoy a moment of indulgence. It's time for Zana Coffee. Guilt-free pleasure. Zana Coffee is the organic coffee to amplify your senses and enhance love for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Only the best organic and GMO-free coffee beans from around the world that I selected. Zana Coffee brings you happiness in every cup. Fair trade certified sustainable organic coffee. That means we do not use slaves. Free Zana songs with every coffee bag. Find Zana Coffee at 
www.zannacoffee.com www.zannacoffee.com Get your coffee back now. Don't be cheap. Life is too short and you deserve the best. Zanna Coffee la, 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 la. It is that time again. 1776, the organic coffee to brew a revolution. Brought you by Zanna Coffee. 1776 is the best organic and GMO-free coffee beans blend from around the world to amplify your senses and enhance love for life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Zanna Coffee brings you happiness in every cup. Fair trade certified sustainable organic coffee. Free Zanna songs with every coffee bag. Get 1776 at www.zannacoffee.com www.zannacoffee.com Don't be cheap, life is too short. 1776 